just really, really blown away at that latency. I mean, that's, there's no lag there. So today we're back with another pretty cool tech item. Special thanks to iShare, who was nice enough to send us this wireless display adapter. This is an HDMI adapter that would plug into your TV and then you're easily able to share your iPhone or iPad screen with your TV. Now, of course, you can do this many different ways, but for a lot of people, this would probably be the simplest way to do this if they don't have like an Apple TV. So we'll go through the unboxing. I'll set it up and show you exactly how this works. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And let's check out this iShare HDMI wireless adapter. All right, so let's open up our iShare wireless display adapter for iPhone and iPad. This is the front, just iShare iOS on the top. Nice little logos on the side for gaming, movies, picture, documents, etc. Nothing really there. iShare on the bottom. And then the back, it features real-time share of movies, music, photos, documents, live camera, games from an iPhone or iPad to a TV, monitor, or projector. Upgrade a normal TV to a Wi-Fi TV. Supports online content sharing. Supports full HD video. You need iOS 9.0 or higher, and it's very easy to use. Plug it in, plug it into the wall, and then switch your TV to the HDMI import. Now it does say that it does not include a 5 volt 1 amp adapter, so uh, you will have to have your own power adapter. Although you might could plug it into your TV, that just depends on your TV. So let's open this up, take a look at it here. So we have, oh very nice, well that's it for the box. Oh wait, there we go, that's it for the box. So a little uh, instruction guide here, some of the specs as well, and, uh, and basically your installation, your connection, and if you gotta run an upgrade. And then in here is everything you'll need. So this is the dongle. You can see a nice little Velcro cable there, I like it. HDMI plug there, just plugs into your HDMI. And then of course, take your USB-C cable, plug it into the bottom, and then plug this into your TV or into a five volt one amp power adapter. Some TVs are five volt one amp, it just depends on the age. That's, uh, that's really it for the unboxing. There's one button here, which helps with syncing and stuff like that. And then an included USB-C to USB cable. So we're gonna try this with my iPad. We'll get the app downloaded. We'll get this plugged into my TV, try it out and show you exactly how this works. All right, so I have everything that I should need here. Power cable, five volt, one amp power adapter. Of course, uh, the only one I could find in my house was from Apple because, well, they're cheap and that's all they give you. The HDMI dongle, and of course, the iPad. So let's hook this up. First, we'll take our HDMI cable and plug it into our TV. So we're gonna pick HDMI 3. There we go. HDMI cable's in. Now, plug in our USB cable to our adapter and then plug it into power. There we are, nice little blue light. USB-C cable goes from here and runs to that little power adapter there. So now we can turn on our TV, turn off our light, and then go to input number three. There we go, input three. Now it's searching for signal, it's found its signal, and now we just gotta download the app. Maybe we don't have to download an app, let's see. So it says to uh, swipe down, click cast, screen mirroring, and we should see iShare with a one, two, three, four pin. Press and hold the button for seconds to switch to casting mode. So, so let me try that. Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Ah. All right, so now we will uh, scan this QR code and it wants to join the Wi-Fi network there. All right, join, unable to join, okay. So the other option is to connect directly to it and we should see iShare here. There it is, iShare. We'll connect in, and it has all of your info up there that you need to connect, so we'll just scan this code and open the web browser. All right, now it needs a password for my Wi-Fi, so I'll put that in, and uh, there we go. Now we should be able to swipe right from the screen to uh, get it to mirror. So we'll go back on here, we'll swipe down, mirroring, there's my iMac, there's our iShare. We'll select our iShare, and it should. Look at that. Wow, it's mirrored it. 
All right. So as you can see, it's showing exactly what's on my iPad on my TV now. So, you know, if I wanted to, uh, I don't even know if I have an app on here. Here we go. So like I could go to YouTube and could then watch whatever I'm watching on YouTube over here. Not that I would necessarily need to do that. It'd be better for like sharing your pictures, sharing your photos or documents. If I had a bunch of documents on here, I could easily throw them up on the screen and show them. As you can see, it's pretty quick. I mean, this is almost, I mean, that's actually instant. It's not, there's no lag there at all. Now it doesn't seem to go, what if I go sideways? Oh, okay. So it does. It changes the orientation. Okay. Okay. So it does change orientation. Very nice. So really, that's about it. You'd be able to cast your screen from your iPhone or your iPad directly to a TV to try to show files, documents, etc. As you see, zero items. I don't have any files on here. I don't really use this iPad much, but this is how it works and it seems to work very fluidly. I know, no photos either. I don't have anything on this, but there it is. That's how this iShare HDMI device would work. Just really, really blown away at that latency. I mean, that's there is no lag there. And so there you have it. That is the iShare wireless HDMI display adapter. As you saw, pretty straightforward to set up. Literally plug it all up, connect to the Wi-Fi on the iShare device. It then has you connect back to your main Wi-Fi. And then when you go to that swipe down, you have the mirroring option and it puts your uh, screen right there on your TV. Nice and simple. I'll of course have this exact iShare wireless adapter linked down below. And as a reminder, it'll work on any iPad or iPhone that's on iOS 9 or higher. Thanks again to the company who was nice enough to send this to me to demonstrate for you. Thank you all for watching. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch, and we'll see you in the next one. Deuces.